What's the best computer to use to record at home? Is there a certain laptop you should buy to edit your podcast on? Should you get a PC or a Mac? Let's find out. If you're recording at home and doing a radio show, voiceover work, a podcast, whatever it might be, the last thing you want is a clunky computer slowing down your process. That might mean it crashes mid-recording, maybe it takes forever to render down your project, or editing just goes so slow. So what kind of computer should you get? Unfortunately, I don't have like a really specific answer because the answer is almost any laptop will work fine or desktop. So I've been recording my voice at home since I was about 12 years old and I've never really ran into the problem where the computer was too slow. Occasionally I get a really old machine that would like crash in the middle of a recording session or something. But for the most part, every computer I've had was able to record the audio I wanted just fine. So this is a different situation than if you're looking to, you know, have like a high end gaming machine with a graphic card and all this high frame rate and all that stuff. Recording, editing and mixing audio for the most part just isn't a super high intensive project for a computer. Like for me, I've been using Adobe Audition. There's an airplane. <laughs> and if you missed the video on why I use Adobe Audition, I'll have that in the description below. If you're watching on Facebook or LinkedIn, I'll have it in the comments. And it's just not like a high intense program to run. Really for the most part with recording at home with like Adobe Audition or something like that, a faster computer, all it's gonna do is make editing a little faster and making like mixing stuff or rendering stuff down a little faster as well. But for the most part, if you get like a decent laptop, you're gonna be fine. And by decent, I mean, you know, starting at like, you know, maybe $400 and up. The main thing you're going to want to look for is a decent processor and a decent amount of RAM. Like I wouldn't go to like Costco or Walmart and get the, you know, bottom of the barrel, low budget, cheapest laptop they have that probably won't serve you well. But you also don't need like a $2,500 MacBook Pro or an Alienware laptop either. If you do, those things will freaking cook. But again, it's overkill. You don't need them. Like for me, I'm running a uh, Dell Inspiron 5577. And it's got a lot of RAM, a pretty fast processor. And this thing handles everything I throw at it pretty well. But for me, I'm actually pulling triple duty with my laptop. I'm recording my radio show and mix show at home right here on this setup. I also use it for DJing weddings. And I also use it for editing all these videos you're watching right now. So the reason I chose the Dell is it's got a pretty high-end graphics card. And that helps a lot with the video editing process and I've just always been a PC guy I think you get a lot more power for what you paid for compared to a Mac I like that they're more customizable and I just don't buy into all the Mac hype but don't get me wrong Apple laptops are absolutely dope and will serve you really really well in a home recording studio environment I mean you could get a MacBook Air and run Adobe Audition no problem that thing will absolutely handle that but if you want to go high-end and get a MacBook Pro cool and it's total overkill but it'll go really fast you could even spring for like a five-year-old Mac laptop you know a MacBook Pro MacBook Air whatever and it would work totally fine I have PCs that I think are at least 10 years old that I use as like backup machines for editing and stuff like this. And those work fine with Adobe as well. Now, if you're going to get into higher end stuff like mixing music with like uh, Pro Tools, Reaper, things like that, you might want to spring for a little bit more expensive laptop, a little bit more RAM, maybe a little bit faster processor. But again, we're talking about home studio recording for like voiceover, podcast, radio, stuff like that. So real quick to sum it all up. I would just get something decent. I wouldn't spend months and months and months shopping for a laptop. Just if your budget is, let's say $600, find the computer with the fastest processor and most RAM for $600. If your budget's $1,000, then you're gonna be fine, I promise. And do me a favor, comment below with the machine you're using to record at home, because I'm curious if you're using like a Mac or a PC, are you using like a custom desktop you built or a laptop you bought like I did? What's your setup? Because again, mine works fine, but it's not the only setup and it's not a perfect setup, but it works great for everything I needed to do. So I'd love to know what yours is. On next week's episode of Home Studio Catalyst, we're going to talk about the best computer monitors like speakers and headphones to use while recording, producing and mixing your audio. I hope you found this video informative and useful and maybe learned a thing or two. If you did, I'd appreciate a subscribe. It helps me get this information out to more content creators like you and also to afford some of the stuff that I review on this channel. So, you know. Click it. I'm Chris Cruz. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.